Hi, this video will be about Terraform. Terraform is a great tool to provision and to manage your cloud infrastructure. I use it almost every day. It also keeps your state, so it means that all the changes that you make will be kept in Terraform. Let's have a look how to deploy an AWS instance in the cloud using Terraform. First, make sure that you have Terraform installed. I'll provide a link in the description of this video. When installed, you can open the shell and you should be able to use Terraform straight away. I'm first going to create the directory Terraform and in this directory, I'm going to create a file aws.tf. In this file, I'm going to put my Terraform definitions. Easiest way is to go to the Terraform website and to copy paste the code example from their documentation. You see now that I pasted a provider and a resource. The provider is going to be AWS and the resource is going to be an AWS instance. I just need to make a few changes to make this work. First, I'm going to change the AMI ID. To know what AMI ID I should put there, I'm going to go to the Amazon EC2 AMI locator. It's a website where I can search for the AMI ID that I need. So I'm going to go for the Ubuntu 16.04 LTS edition in EUS1. I'm just going to paste that here. And then I'm also going to change the instance type. And to give it a name in the AWS console, I'm also going to change the name tag. Next, I'm going to add my access key and my secret key. I'm just going to refer here to the variables and I will create a new file later on and put my real access key and private key in there. To make this work, I just have to specify the variables that I will be using. So I'm going to declare variable access key and variable secret key. I am still in the AWS.tf file. I will create another file with the real access and secret key in. I'm just also going to change the region because the region where I am in is EU West 1. And I also picked the AMI ID for EU West 1. This setup could already work, but let's add an SSH key. Let's go again to the documentation and let's copy paste the example they have for the AWS key pair. Let me just remove this public key because we're going to add our own public key and let me change the key name and the resource name. I'm all going to change it in my own name so that we easily can find our resources. Then I'm going to make sure that the AWS instance is going to use our newly created key. To do that, I'm going to add key name and the value of key name will refer to the resource in Terraform, just in case that if we change the key later on, Terraform will pick it up and make the change. To make an SSH key, we can use a tool called SSH Keygen. So I'm just going to make a new key and I'm going to use the public key. So I'm copy pasting it and putting it into this Terraform resource, AWS key pair. I'm almost ready to go now. I just need to define my AWS access key and AWS secret key. So I created this beforehand using the AWS console. And now I'm just going to put these keys in a file terraform.tfvars. Here, I'm just going to define the AWS access key and the AWS secret key. I'm going to leave the variables empty for now. I'm going to, I'm going to stop the video for a second, fill them out, and then I'm going to resume the video. This should be all. Now I'm going to run Terraform plan to show me what is going to happen on our AWS account, but not yet executed. So you can see here that we're going to launch an AWS instance with the AMI we defined. The instance type is T2 micro, and this instance is going to use my key pair I created. Now I'm going to run Terraform apply and this is then going to create the resources I defined in AWS. This can take a couple of minutes. AWS needs to start the instance and boot it up. 
then you will see something like this apply complete resources to edit zero changed and zero destroyed so we have added two resources and now you can actually log in to your aws account and you will see this resource created terraform is a great tool it will definitely make your life easier it has a learning curve but it's definitely worth it if you have any questions use the comment section and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel